Welcome to Velf Creations. Today we will be attempting to make a custom build plate for our Bamboo Lab P1S using the Xtool F1 Ultra. We have this build plate that has a cool pattern on one side and transfers over that same design to whatever you print. The other side is just a normal PEI coating. So let's see if we can engrave our logo onto the back. Let's get started. We'll begin by jumping into XES where we can set up a new project. The Xtool F1 Ultra has a nice camera that we can use for positioning our tests. All we need to do is tap the refresh button on the right side to see our build plate. Now this is our very first time attempting this, so you guys will see our entire process. We need to begin by running some tests. We rarely use the back of the build plate, so we will start in the back left corner. We need to figure out what the best speed and power settings are, so let's draw a small rectangle that we can add to the corner. We know that we want to use high lines per centimeter because the logos will be small and repeating. Once added, we can switch the mode from scoring to engraving and also update our parameters. For this, we will use the fiber laser and let's start with a power of 100% and a speed of 1500. We can also set our lines per centimeter to 300 which will increase engraving time, but produce a better quality pattern. That engraved really quickly, but leaves some dark residue that flakes off pretty easily. We wanted to also see if perhaps we can smooth out the coating without engraving it by using a faster speed. So back in XES, we will try to adjust the speed to 2000 and start the engraving again. It did engrave much faster, but left a rough look that wasn't removable, so it appeared that slower speeds work better. After running a few more tests, we decided to go a bit slower at 100%, but also do a total of three passes. That gave us the cleanest result, and all we had to do was a light scrub in the sink to remove any residue. Now let's get the alignment bracket on and do a larger scale engraving. 3D printed parts are something that we want to sell more of someday, and we thought this would be a good way to brand the bottom of our designs. So we will be using the built-in array tool that is included with XES to create a simple pattern. This way, we can print a small test piece to see if the pattern even transfers. Two concerns we have is that the print won't stick as well, and also if this affects bed leveling in any way. While editing this video, we started getting flashbacks to when we created custom stamps. If you know, you know. Long story short, we forgot to mirror the design. Fortunately, this is a cheaper build plate off of Amazon, and that is what testing is for. Not our first mistake and won't be our last. Some foreshadowing there. As always, we wanted to take a moment to thank all of our current subscribers while this is engraving. Your support means the world to us and helps keep this channel going strong. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. All we need to do next is take it to the sink and give it a wash to remove any remaining residue. The engraving was nice and quick, taking only about five minutes. To test this pattern, we added a simple rectangle in Bamboo Studio and moved it up in position to print right on top of the design. We loaded up some matte black polyterra filament because that is what we use most for our functional prints. While that is printing, we also jumped into Illustrator to create more of a brick-style pattern that we will engrave next along the bottom half of the build plate. We would like to try a few other patterns in some future shorts. If you have any ideas, let us know in the comments below. Our test print is done and looks like the build plate was able to hold onto the part without any issue. This is what it ended up looking like. We are really happy with this subtle texture that is not too distracting and looks very nice. Now back to our foreshadowing from earlier in the video. We imported our new design and placed it at the bottom of the work area. Next, our first mistake was uniting the entire design. This means that instead of engraving each logo one at a time, XES engraved it as one unit, which takes a lot longer. But that is not all. We entered a power settings of 100, speed of 1000. We were so focused on remembering to mirror the design that we only set it to do one pass. We also broke our number one laser engraving rule, do not touch the piece until you inspect it. This will always allow you to run another pass or two 
to clean up any remaining material. No amount of scrubbing work to clean up the build plate, so we will just hop right into our final attempt. This will be directly on one of our bamboo build plates. We want to fill it up as much as possible so that we can print larger parts. This time, we checked all the boxes, selected three passes, didn't unite the design, and also mirrored it before starting. Using one of our bamboo plates was a bit scarier, but it is double-sided so if we mess this up, at least we will have one good side. One thing that we did notice during this engraving was that the corners of the plate were burning quite a bit. Not entirely sure why this happened, it could be the build plate reacting differently, or perhaps we are pushing how large the Ultra can engrave with the fiber laser, so the beam itself is focused differently on the edges. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, let us know. A solution may be to just run it at a lower power and with multiple passes. But in the future, we will give the blue light laser a try and see if we can get better results with that. We would also like to try an existing plate that already has a pattern on it and see how that looks. Now that we have a full build plate, we would like to engrave a functional part for our standard X-Tool F1. Sometimes it is a bit tricky to keep the rotary tool aligned perfectly with the base plate, so we picked up an STL from Deco Lounge Designs on Etsy. We have links to their designs in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video and would like to support our channel, we have affiliate links to Xtool and others. Your purchases help us create more content like this. Again, the print had no issues sticking to the build plate, and the pattern transferred perfectly. We will continue testing to see which filaments work best with this type of build plate modification. Maybe a shinier or different color filament could make the design pop even more. Now all we have to do is remove the existing F1 base plate and place it to the side to help support the rotary. Next, we can put our 3D printed part in place and set the rotary on top. Such a clean design and works great. Well, there we have it, a custom 3D printing build plate for our Bamboo Lab P1S. We are pretty happy with this first attempt, but maybe we need to make the logos a bit bigger or try a different design altogether to make the image pop a bit more. Let us know what you think and any suggestions or ideas you have. Thank you for watching and stay creative.